when karan in the mahabharat his chariot wheel got stuck in the ground lord krishna told arjun look here's your chance right now his back is towards you when his chest is towards you you will not be able to shoot him so hit him in the back karan heard lord krishna he had been born through the ear so his ears were very powerful his name is karan he said shri krishna you are god you have manifested the laws of dharma in the vedas and you are teaching arjun a dharma what kind of god are you so karan said shatra dharma mavekshasva oh shri krishna what is the dharma of kshatriyas think in the year 2009 india's enron scandal came to light satyam infotech was one of the big three it companies of the world its ceo ramalinga raju was found to have committed fraud over a period of successive years to the tune of 11000 crore rupees he had been showing non existent employees and siphoning their salaries there were loans given to relatives and friends there were inappropriate takeovers and mergers and that money he had used to purchase villas in 63 countries he possessed 15 limousines and 300 pairs of shoes Ramalinga Raju was intelligent skillful well educated he had been to ohio university he had been a part of the owners and presidents program at the harvard business school so there is no doubt to reach the top of the it world he was inspired where he tripped was in purity of intention so what then is pure intention ramalinga raju's case was an extreme one he was using completely fraud and deceitful means to achieve his goals but what if he had not done fraud he was merely amassing wealth and fame and control would his intention be considered pure that's the question to ponder over today if we had asked ramalinga raju what he was doing he would have said he was pursuing success or protecting the success he had already acquired the problem was his definition of success itself was defective our intention can only be pure when the success we have defined for ourselves is pure so before we go further into purity of intention we need to understand what is success every human being wishes to succeed it is a universal common desire of all human kind only a crazy person says i wish to fail but what does success mean very often people are programmed to blindly run after what society has considered as success like if you graduated from school in the 1960s and 70s in india you only thought should i become an engineer or a doctor or go into the army there were three options for success now there are so many more 
but people are still blindly running ask them what is success all about many would say to become a billionaire would be my idea of success because then i could have my private boat private plane my limousine and my mansion but the point to ponder is if that billionaire is successful then why is he unhappy there are so many billionaires in this world who cannot sleep at night until they take their sleeping pills you look at the external wow this is the size of his car and he's got a chauffeur and he's got a 10 bedroom house but if you could look inside you would say ram 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 isse to main hi acha hu there are others who pursue fame and look on popularity as the parameter for success but our scriptures say chakra dharo pi suratvam suratva labhe sakal surapatitvam bhavitum surapati rurdhva gatitvam tatha pi na nivartate trishna that super successful king of a country is not satiated he wishes to be the chakravarti samrat of the world and the chakravarti samrat is also not happy he wishes to become a devta celestial god the devta wants to be devraj indra indra is looking at the throne of brahma this desire finds no fulfillment no matter how much you try to satiate it So what is the definition of success ask mr google you'll not get the answer if you ask me i'd say to develop divine love for god is success but then many people cannot connect with such a highly spiritual definition so i thought of breaking it down into some tangibles to which people can relate and here is what i came up with success should have three aspects to it you wish to be good you wish to do good and you wish to feel good these are the three universal common aspirations of us all we wish to become good why is this desire to be good in us because god is all good he has got innumerable divine qualities ishwarya sampatti as his little parts we naturally love these divine qualities that is why everybody loves truthfulness honesty kindness generosity compassion you may say swami ji everybody loves truthfulness which world are you living in there are so many who lie and habitually teri kasam meri kasam no no they may be telling lies i don't deny but if you lie to the liar will he like it he will complain why did you lie to me are baba you are a liar yourself that is all right i can tell lies but you should not tell lies to me even the inveterate liar wants honest behavior from others this is called honesty amongst thieves we may be adharmic but from others we want dharmic behavior when karan in the mahabharat his chariot wheel got stuck in the ground lord krishna told arjun look here's your chance right now his back is towards you when his chest is towards you you will not be able to shoot him so hit him in the back karna heard lord krishna he had been born through the ear so his ears were very powerful his name is karna 
he said shri krishna you are god you have manifested the laws of dharma in the vedas and you are teaching arjun a dharma what kind of god are you so karan said shatra dharma mamekshasva oh shri krishna what is the dharma of kshatriyas think see in the vedas even for fighting a war there are codes of conduct do not shoot anybody after sunset in the dark do not hit under the belt or in the back don't lift your hand on ladies this is just warfare so karan is reminding shri krishna about the rules of dharma lord krishna replied karan you love dharma where was your dharma when the right of the pandavas was being denied to, to them what happened to your dharma when draupadi was being humiliated if you love the dharma why are you fighting on behalf of the adharmic karvas lord krishna said o oh karna what dharm did you follow in the past what i am trying to show is that we may do wrong but we want others to do right to us one thief stole from somewhere when he came home he counted his booty who i got a lot today with great happiness he went off to sleep but at night disaster struck in his home a thief entered and looted from him the first thief when he woke up in the morning and discovered ah, who is this how dare he doesn't he know who i am if i find him i'll break his teeth and smash his forehead why are you getting so upset you are a thief yourself you should be delighted your party has got double first there was one thief in this mohalla now there are two no i can steal from others but nobody should steal from me the point is god is the possessor of daivi gun divine attributes as his little parts we also wish to become divine like him and that is the purpose of religion so swami vivekananda expressed it so brilliantly when he said these great prophets were not unique they were human as you and i and they had attained super consciousness and you and i can do the same the very fact that one man achieved that state indicates that all can do so and that ultimately is religion what is the purpose of religion not some rituals to become scared by religion is the science of achieving super consciousness and perfection to fulfill the natural aspiration of every soul to be the best that we can be that is the first definition of success